electricity. First of all, thank you very much for having us into your house. Delighted. We're here, as I say, surrounded by the history of the GA and the history of yourself. You tell me, I suppose, like you did before on a radio programme, that growing up in Klein was conducive to being a hurler. It was indeed. Well, uh, tradition was very low, but uh, the enthusiasm was very big and very ripe. Now, also, of course, you had the hurling field behind the house. That was a great help. And I had uh, plenty of people to play hurling with, and plenty of help from the, the neighbours and the teachers and the priests and everybody associated with the village. You used to go out in the evenings after school? After mass, after school, in the morning, in the evening, after matches. How old were you when you remember hurling first? I really couldn't say, but I think I remember the 1931 final on radio. That was the famous uh, three, three matches with Kilkenny? Yeah. And uh, after that then I'd say I don't remember hurling until I became about 15 years of age. And where were you playing on the, on the local team at the time? Well, I played, uh, at that time there was no uh, juveniles, but there was, the nearest thing you could get was an under-18 minor, as it's, it's called. And I played for a client for a number of years, I'd say it's under-18 at 14, 15, 16, and then client couldn't get enough players to make it minor team, so I carried on into Middleton and I played with them for two years. Now and we'll talk about the minor first for a while. You were an All-Ireland medal minor? Well, I was, uh, I, I was a sub in 1937 in Killarney, 37 in Killarney, and then in 38 I played. And I played in until <coughs> some grade until I finished. Take us back to that game in, in 38. That was your first time playing in Croke Park, I suppose. It was my first time game playing in Croke Park, but uh, we had uh, played in the Munster Championship semi-final. And uh, I don't think I played too well, but I played well enough to be... I was selected a following Sunday in the senior hurling team. Straight after the all Ireland. after that. Indeed, Chris, I suppose it could be said that over the years determination was one of your great attributes. Well, I don't know, I suppose it could be, but I don't know where that springs from. But you had it anyway. Yeah. When did the Glen come then, Glen Rovers? Well, I went to walk in the city and I fell in with the Glen, Jack Lynch and company. And uh, I stayed with them until I finished. The Glen has meant a lot to you over the years? The Glen has meant a lot to me, uh, a lot, an awful lot really. The comradeship I made and the club itself. Has made, it has a tremendous bearing on my life and the whole. You know. Is there a such thing as a spirit of the Glen? I don't know how you describe the spirit of the Glen, no more than describe the spirit of the bars or the rockies spirit or anything. Spirit of Klein. Spirit of Klein, I don't know. It's just that uh, they have this tradition of playing the games that should be played, held and tough, and taking their beating as well as winning in the city.